Good morning, Sarah. Quiet weather out on the roads, not only around Baltimore, all the way down the eastern shore and also into western Maryland. Although there may be some fog showing up uh, west of us, maybe even out towards Hagerstown or northern Virginia, we have an easterly wind and that pushes the moisture from the ocean right up to the mountains and it sometimes can produce those low clouds. And that's why some of the clouds are still hanging around the region this morning, but they should start to disappear as we uh, get the daytime heating. High pressure lifting away from the area. This is going to allow for a southerly wind flow, temperatures and humidity increase over the weekend, tracking a cold front moving across the plains. This will be the focus for our next chance for showers and thunderstorms. We could really use the rain. We have that chance at least on Sunday, lasting into Monday. The tropics remain active, although there's no direct threat to Maryland and much of the east uh, coast is free from any uh, tropical activity as well. It's just the southeast coast that continues to feel the impacts from Julia, mainly in the form of rough surf, gusty winds and occasionally some rain is pushing right back into the shoreline. But Julia should be decreasing in strength once again. Ian's still well out in the Atlantic, but as it continues to travel north, it may actually graze Iceland. Carl is the next tropical system. It continues to travel west across the open Atlantic, it may become a hurricane in the next five days, but at this point still not impacting any major landmass. So things are quiet out there and it's quiet back at home. Temperatures right now in the 60s and 50s, 55 Jarrettsville, 57 in Centerville, and Annapolis right now at 67 degrees. The air is really refreshing right now because it's so dry, and that helps the temperatures even uh, feel comfortable this afternoon. 77 for Baltimore, 76 for Hagerstown, and Easton up to 79 degrees. Futurecast shows how it's pretty dry across the state today, though late in the afternoon, something isolated could pop up out towards uh, western Maryland, mainly in Garrett County. That'll be the focal point for more showers and thunderstorms even around later tomorrow. Futurecast is hinting at maybe an isolated shower breaking out somewhere east of the mountains on Saturday. At this point, pretty low chance of that. But by Sunday, just about anyone has a chance to see showers and storms, and they're especially focused towards the afternoon and evening as that cold front approaches. And the showers are likely to last into Monday morning. Seven-day forecast as it's warmer over the weekend in the 80s. It feels especially humid on Sunday. Monday still with a chance for showers, and then it's sunny middle of next week. We stay mild in the 80s.